We're back in the SolidWorks Live studio here in the 3D Experience Playground at 3D Experience World 2020. And I'm joined by our guests, Brad Thompson and Ryan Lewis of Impact Props. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, so this morning at General Session, uh, right, or Brad, you had an opportunity to go out on stage and kind of show some of the really interesting things that you guys are doing. Uh, you actually had this helmet up there, right? That's right. Um, this helmet right here is something that I've been working on for the past six months, and I was able to release the build video on stage and really show everybody what I've been working on. It's very fun. So for those folks at home who don't know, tell us a little bit about what Impact Props is and what you guys do. Sure. So uh, Impact Props is just a group of friends, basically. Um, Brad has some amazing building skills, as you can see from yeah. this and the Master Chief helmet. And back in college, we decided, you know, what can we do with these awesome builds that, that Brad's creating? And so we just grew from there and started posting online mm -hmm. and people seem to like it, so. Yeah, before we got started, so you're a content creator on YouTube. Tell us a, a little bit about your YouTube channel. Where can the folks watching at home go see some of your content that you guys have created? Sure, our YouTube channel is called Impact Props. Um, we have two different types of videos uh, that we have on there. The first is a series called Living with Chief, where uh, Master Chief lives with us. And <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little abstract, but uh, we have a lot of fun with it. And then the second, do a couple of build videos here and there, and we have a lot of fun with those too. Yeah, so it's really interesting. It was, it's almost kind of like you had to create, you had to, you created the series talking about the build, how you supported the other series living with Master Chief, right? right? Yeah. So really interesting stuff. So you've been, tell me how you guys got started. I, I heard a little bit of this before. You guys have been friends for quite a long time. So first of all, right. Ryan, tell us what your role is too. Um, so Brad and I really, and everyone that's involved, um, really just kind of work together and come up with crazy ideas. Mm -hmm. And the best part really about this whole Living With Chief series is uh, we don't have to do too much planning because when you take someone like Master Chief out into the public, uh, things just happen. Crazy <laughs> things just happen. <laughs> yeah. so. If you're into that, yeah, the series is, is fun to watch. Cool. Yeah, the interactions are a lot of fun. I mean, this all started back in college, okay. and uh, we I'm very happy to still be doing this with my best friend, and, and it's really, it is really a lot oh, of fun. Thanks, Brad. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys started this back in school, um, and this just organically grew into something you were telling me. Like, oh, originally man. this started with some pictures that were <laughs> being posted. Yeah, it initially started on Facebook, so we had a Facebook page we still do um, but it started as a place where I could just post progress pictures of the creations that I make and uh, it, it slowly started growing we uh, we added a friend called uh, named Jan Daniel Gibrelli he's an award-winning videographer and a fantastic picture of photographer picture taker, <laughs> picture -taker. he's <laughs> picture -taker. a great picture taker and so we were able to kind of mesh our uh, strengths together and he was able to take some incredible pictures and Really, it was the quality of the pictures that we were able to take, which boosted our Facebook following. And then, towards the end of our senior year of college, when we were all getting sad that we were about to leave each other, and um, we decided, hey, we have all of these costumes, we have all of these, you know, shelf ornaments. Why don't we make something fun with the things that we've created? And so that's when we started uh, doing this whole living with Chief thing uh, okay. with our suits. So, I mean, living with Chief, uh, we have some footage of from your YouTube channel here, some highlight <laughs> reel. One of the things I just saw there, you were skiing with Master Chief. Right. Tell us what that's got to be like for Master Chief to go, ski, <laughs> well, you know, Chief uh, to go skiing. I've heard that the visor really fogs up really fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, in this video that you're watching right now, I think my, my favorite part is when he just wipes out. And he tries this big old jump and then just completely just eats it. So um, yeah. it's not very good at snowboarding after all. So tell us what, when you go to create something like this, like Chief or whether it's this helmet, what are some of the challenges that you face to bring a build like this to life? Right. Um, I always start with a blank canvas. Kind of really don't know which direction we're going to go. I kind of always forget how to make these suits and just kind of go for it and see what happens. Um, with the, with the, the Iron Man helmet here, uh, the concept Iron Man helmet, we were able, I was able to kind of do that but in a virtual space. So instead of making something and messing it up and trying to fix it all, right, um, I was able to make the mistakes without having any repercussions and being able to fix it in, in the platform. So, yeah. So you kind of uh, got to create your, your whole virtual model and really tinker around with different ideas, like how parts might come together before you ever had to go 
craft one piece of content for this. Very right? true. I didn't have to fix anything. Um, I was able to print it all out using a Form 2 form, or Form Labs Form 2 printer, um, and then it was all sanding. I didn't have to fix anything, which is something that is completely different when you're scratch building something out of nothing. Yeah, let's talk about an evolution. So run us through how you build something like, you know, folks at home can go to your YouTube channel and watch yes. some of the builds on how you created this. But for the folks watching here, explain a little bit like how the difference in building something the way you crafted it yes. that way did versus doing it digitally. So these two helmets that are on the table right here, they are made the same way. This was not made. Uh, this was a 3D print okay, also. Okay, this one was a 3D print But the, as well. the, the full suits that we make, we make them out of EVA foam. And so the difference is uh, medium. It's where you do your art, right? So okay. uh, the Iron Man helmet, the art was done in the platform. And with the building something from scratch, it was done by hand. Um, so the suit was made out of EVA foam, hot glued together, and just looking at pictures and building geometry. Okay. And then you moved on to using digital tools to get these. I, I mean, one Correct. of the things that's really cool is you were able to take, you were able to leverage some really cool technology. You were talking about with the Formlabs printer, you were yes. able to accomplish some really cool stuff with the lenses here on the mask, right? SLA printing it blows my mind. <laughs> Uh, Formlabs has this tutorial on uh, their website where it's basically how to print lenses. And so you print out your print and then you use an eyedropper to actually drip the resin on it and then cure it using UV light, which creates this incredible, incredible effect. So that's one of my favorite parts of this build. Ryan, tell me a little bit. Can, you, can we tell folks like what you do a lot with uh, impact props? Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I just like to, so I can't build anything. The, the closest thing I've ever come to building out of foam or likewise is a, a coaster, which is <laughs> a circle that you can cut out. And that, that I'm really talented at. Um, but when it gets into anything more than that, I, I kind of drop off. But really, I was able to just, um, you know, pair up, pairing up with Daniel Gibrelli, who does, and just deserves so much credit for a lot yes, of what we does. do. Yeah. And, um, and, and Brad Thompson, just kind of uh, being crazy, I guess. They're the <laughs> ones who can kind of like tame me a little bit. Um, if there's, you know, something we have an idea to go do, and everyone's kind of like, well, maybe, I don't know. I'll just try to, I'll just go do it. Right. So, uh, <laughs> so being able to do that, I think, is my talent, I guess. Right. Really fun. <laughs> and with Ryan, with the creation of the videos, the ideas kind of all start here. Yep. And then we expand on those, and together we make the, the products that we have. Well, this is a lot of great content that you guys have on your channel. We actually have some footage of you working on it. It looks like in the 3D Experience platform, working on the mask that you have here on stage. Yes. It's really cool. This is the video I just posted. Yeah, it's surprise. super cool. So we can go watch this on your YouTube channel. Are you narrating it on your, on your YouTube channel, or are we watching it right from your no, YouTube channel? No, we're watching channel? it right now. Okay. No, I'm not, I don't narrate. Um, I basically show everybody how I made it, and I'm kind okay. of explain the process before, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. That's really cool. I want to thank Brad and Ryan for joining us here at SolidWorks Live at 3D Experience World. Anything else you guys are looking forward to the rest of the time while you're here? You know, it's really sad, actually, because we're actually leaving in a couple hours. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm, well, I'm glad we really got you guys here on set before you had to leave. Yes, so. but we've had a great experience. We've been able to go around and look at all the cool technology that's on the floor. And Ryan, do you have anything else? Uh, no, thanks for having us yes. here. This has been really, really one of the best experiences that we've had at a place like this. Yes, so. SolidWorks, yeah. I mean, SolidWorks world, 3D experience world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, this is an incredible place. So yeah, thank you no, guys for having us. It's really fun. We're glad to have you guys here. Uh, so stay tuned throughout the rest of the day. We're going to be breaking for lunch here in a few moments, but make sure you continue to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook. We're also on LinkedIn, Instagram, and live.solidworks.com. Make sure you join in the conversation. If you want to interact with us here at SolidWorks Live, it's the hashtag SWLive. If you want to participate in the conversation for the event, it's the hashtag 3DXW20. But we're going to go ahead and break for lunch, and we'll see you after the break.